What's going on YouTube? We are back, Bo and Kindle. Your favorite YouTubers here. Yep. With Feels Like Home Construction. So if you're new here, we own a construction business and we talk about all things construction, real estate, money, investing, all the fun stuff. So it's not just construction. Yeah. You down to all of it. Travel, the whole yeah. nine yards. Yep. So we wanted to talk to you today about a business or how we got started. When we first started our construction business back in 2018, I think, we actually yeah. put a name to it. We were doing some remodels and we started putting paint into our bids for people and Bo and I learned how to paint ourselves and we would do the work ourselves and we saw huge profit margins just from painting. So we kind of wanted to break it down for you guys and show you if you were thinking about doing that or if you don't do it right now currently and you would like to start kind of what you could make and it's pretty simple to get into honestly. Yeah and we looked for a lot of videos for a while because when we first started I was always YouTube and I was like man can I make money painting? I mean I would, I would Google everything, I would YouTube everything, I would stay up all hours of the night like oh my gosh I gotta make a living, you know I gotta make a living. <laughs> can I make money rolling <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and oh, it was the, the best part of it. Us doing those full remodels, I mean, that was great because we were still making money everywhere else. Whenever we had your gut in the house, you know, we're still making from your demo crew and making money from over here and a lot of the work we did ourselves. But like she said, though, when we very first started, I remember going out and doing our first paint job, and I'm pretty sure it was an exterior job, and it was just the fascia and soffit. And we went out there and we had, you know, you get the right stuff, we had the little like maskers to make it all easier, the 3M maskers. and went out there and knocked it out by lunchtime, right? Taped all this whole thing off. And then I remember we got out there and sprayed it. And then we ended up giving the bill out. And it was like 2,200 bucks. And we netted, what was it? I don't know, $1,500, $1,500, $1,600 yeah. in a day. It was a half a day. It was like five hours of work. I was like, geez, this is way better. Yeah, than true, because we masked else. it all off one day, painted it the next, and then we were kind of cleaned up and stuff the end of that second day and we were pretty much done. Yeah. But I think that a number one tip if you're going to start your painting business or whatever you're in is we had very low overhead costs. Mm -hmm. You know, we were we were just starting out. We didn't have a huge office space that we were paying for, no big shops or anything like that. And so when we would get these bids over to our clients, we would factor in, depending on the paint job and the size of it and things like that, we would factor in some materials into that and say we need the new Graco sprayer because we were doing the whole house of all the cabinets and doors. We would just kind of budget that into their job. So essentially our clients pretty much paid for all of our tools and our equipment that we needed. Yeah, definitely over all the years, we never really had to buy anything. I mean, if whenever you do good quality work and you make it easy on the customer and you don't cause problems, you just get in there and get it done, people will pay the price. And our bid, you know, we definitely weren't around the few dollars a foot for painting. We were always a lot higher. We were more of the custom end painting because people don't have to deal with us. They would just tell us what they want done and we get in there and knock it out. And then we clean up after ourselves. And that was a big one. So we could charge that like six, seven, eight dollars a square foot for painting in these full size houses that were, I mean, most of them were 2,000 square foot houses. And we had to do it all, the cabinets, everything. And so that's when we'd really like kill it on a job. Yeah. I mean, we would always be very clean and very organized. Just like, I think that's the most important thing too when you're working on someone's house, whether it's painting or just the whole construction job is to always treat it like it's your own. And so every day at the end of the day when we left, everything was always picked up. It was always clean. Mm -hmm. And we also used a big thing in the painting world is the material and the paint that you spray with. Mm -hmm. That's a big one, and our clients wanted, obviously, durable, long-lasting paint on their woodwork, and that's what we would always use, and they knew that they could trust us that we wouldn't short the job and get something that was cheaper just so we could make more money. Yeah, and that's what why a lot of painters don't make it here, because they end up going to work for builders, and they always just end up buying the cheapest paint, and they try to hide it, and... You know, if you just go over there and you, you're already charged for the job, so just buy the good paint. I mean, it's that simple. Uh, I think the best part was, too, though, was the first one, or one of the first ones was we bought it, was down in Canaan. We had, like, three jobs overlapping, and they were big remodels, not just painting. Yeah. Uh, I think we bought it because we were heading down to Canyon, and it was, like, a $9,800 paint job. And it was all the walls, all the trim, all the cabinets, and it, the house was, what, 1500 
I don't know, 1,500, 1,600 square feet. That's the beauty of that thing. So we get in there, obviously no floors too, so that made it really easy on us. And we knocked this thing out in like five days. Mm -hmm. And I just remember at the end of the week, I mean, we did work late some nights. We did bust our butt to get it done. But at the end of the week, we got that check. And I was like, man, on top of doing the other remodels and then netting the, just the painting alone, it was like, we bought our Graco, which was like 600 bucks. I think is with a great code or 669. I still remember this. Yeah. And then all your tips and everything ended up being like close to a thousand dollars. And then with all our paint and all that, we ended up netting like 4,800, five grand. I think just on the painting, not counting the other stuff that we were still doing. And I was like, wow. So over a thousand a day just from painting. I was like, I could get used to this. This is nice. Yeah. And we started out doing probably two, two to three of those. Of yeah. What? Yeah, two and three some of them were bigger, some of them were a little bit smaller, so we could actually like overlap and do like two a week or something like that. But it started out pretty. We were like painting all the time. Yeah, constantly. we were painting a lot. Yeah. But the best part too was that we had other guys. Like our other guys were working on the floor, so we were still taking. You know, we were still making money on the floor that week, not just the painting. And then we had another job that we were overlapping with painting while our other tile guys were over here doing showers. I mean, it was. That's the best part about when you learn what needs to be done right, you know, and make sure they all do it right too. But yeah. I think that biggest part was of you overlapping like that and then the painting too was just like a money machine, a money machine. Yeah, and that was the one thing that we thought to ourselves, okay, we're going to hire, you know, we have our crews that do like the demo and sometimes we would do that too starting out. But, you know, obviously the more extensive things, we would do some of it, but painting was the one thing that we got really good at and we said hey we can make this whole profit margin ours and we don't have to pay it to a crew and we can do it while someone else is doing demo on this other house and so the paint worked out really well for us and we actually still have that gray coast sprayer yeah we used it the other day to spray a barn yeah we did. yeah it did a lot of jobs for us how many gallons of paint do you think we've put through that oh geez I, I don't even i couldn't even tell you that and we have it. That was the first Graco we bought over those like four years. Mm -hmm. And we probably, I bet you in total paint jobs. This is not being like cocky or anything like that. This is just of what we did in total paint jobs. I bet you close to 200, 300. Probably. Yeah. And that was only, I mean, really, we only did our work, our own work the first like couple of years. So, I mean, that's not now. I'm just saying like within this first year or two, we did close to 200K probably. Or a little bit, a little bit more. I can, I mean, I couldn't even tell you. It was just constant paint jobs, one after another, and people kept calling us for it. But that was the biggest one, like Kendall said too, is making it simple. Like just bring your vacuum cleaner and clean up when you're done. Yeah. And people will refer you out like crazy, and then you eventually have to get. We don't even have to advertise, and that's that's one great thing about our business now is we really don't have to advertise anymore. Um, it, it's just kind of from word of mouth. Yeah, and I think something too that helped us and that might be able to help you in your paint business or construction business is that, and I know it's not, you know, not everybody is like this, but we, you know, it's husband and wife, man, woman. So I would actually help some of the women clients pick out their paint colors and they knew that I could keep track of 20 different colors in one yeah. house. That was really a thing. One time we did, I mean, I bet you it was over 20 different colors Yeah, one in one house. Yeah. Walls, trim, doors, it was all... And like everything. your accent walls and your ceilings. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, it was just, it was crazy, but made it very easy on the customer. And that's all people want is don't bother me. You go buy your paint, you do this. Don't ask me for a check until you check with the client to make sure they like it. That was another thing too, is I always right. hated yeah. that. Yeah. You know, with our, our painters, you know, asking us, okay, we're done. Can I have a check? No, you cannot. I have to walk through it and double check. And if you do that for your clients, just say, "Hey, here's a roll of tape. Go ahead and just uh, put some spots there if you if you see if I need to touch up anywhere." Yeah, if you see anything. But we would walk through multiple times, and almost all the time, there really wouldn't be anything that they would see unless we just missed it. Uh, but other than that, we were always really organized, and people just want to know that your paint job is going to last. Yeah. Especially if you're doing cabinets and woodwork, that's a big tip, is just buy quality paint and do it right. Sand it down if you have to, spray it really good, two coats, whatever you have to do to make it actually last, and then make it look clean. Clean lines. Yeah, so. we always, I mean, we always did tape lines because every time we would, 
I mean, you always get the criticism, you know, on social media when you're doing a tape line because people are like, oh, my arm's straighter. Well, no, it's not. The tape's always yeah. straighter. It's straight. The people, the clients love whenever you use yeah. tape because it's, per it's perfect. I love it when our guys use tape now. Yeah, I do too. I mean, I don't care if they have a perfect arm or anything. And they're in there taping it off and they're actually doing that. Oh, man, they're, they're going to keep getting jobs from us because I do like that crisp line on our jobs. Yep, yeah. But that's really, I mean, there's really no, like, secret book that I'm here to tell you about this making 10K a month painting. It really is, you know, if you're going to do it as a side job or a side hustle or a full-time job, don't go out tomorrow and say, oh, I need the gray coat, I need all this, I need this. You know, start, start out small. You know, ask a family member or something like that if you could paint. Uh, their living room. If, they, if they'll provide the paint, you know, you'll paint the living room for free. And then just so you can, they can refer it out to a friend or do some kind of setup like that where the people will start referring you by word of mouth because then that grows way faster than you trying to advertise yourself. Or And you can even also do the special thing, you know. Remember yeah. whenever our, uh, our painters were doing a, a special where they were advertising for like, you know, one room, you know, 14 by 14 or less, uh, you know, $149, you know, including paint, right? And so... Yeah. It was just walls, but it, it was a massive marketing tool where you could go out there and get your name out there and give out your cards where you had, you did that for 20 people for a week. Well, now you have 20 people that are referring you out left and right because that was only a one-time deal. Yeah, that's a good way to get your name out there and people can see your work, like Bo said, and they'll know that you are reputable and you can do more than just that. So Yeah, yeah it's definitely not going to be easy. you got to learn first. Make sure you know how to paint. You know, before you just get out there in someone's house and start charging them, you know, <laughs> learn the extra things or practice at your own house. Get your house painted where it looks good, where you can post that. People don't have to know it's your own personal house. Make, it think, make them think it's your client's house. I mean, the bigger things like that is that Ken and I marketed ourselves all the time. People are like, why y'all post that? Well, it's like, we really want to tell them. It was like, obviously for marketing purposes, not, not just because I wanted to post it. I mean, that's yeah. really how you grow your business is marketing yourself as the painter or whatever your business is. Yeah, and we didn't have anything, actually, when we sent out our first paint bed. We didn't have a sprayer. We yeah, didn't we have didn't. nothing. So yeah. you don't need all these fancy things to get started. I think just get started and know what you're doing and just build a trust relationship with all your clients and yeah. know, do, always do good work for them. And don't forget, you can always rent those tools, too. You know, So if you need that gray coat or anything like that, you can go mm -hmm. up to Home Depot, and we've rented, like, when we're trying to do a really thick paint or a block filler or something like that, we rented their big gray coat up there for 20 bucks for four hours. I mean, and then it's like 60 bucks for 24 hours, you know, and always over budget, don't under budget. And you'll, you'll kill it out there on the, the painting world. Yeah. And one more thing I think, um, is to invest in the good materials like the tape. I know I said the paint, but another big one for mm -hmm. us was tape because all of our other painters in the past have used really thin tape and so their lines would bleed. And for us, it was like, the tape was a big one, so. Yeah, and what kind of tape is your favorite? Frog tape. Yeah, the green the frog green tape. Stuff. That's the best tape. And if you have sensitive, if you're painting next to cabinets, get the yellow and that won't, the green tape's a little bit stronger. So whenever you're spraying really, heavily but if you're just trying to trim out next to woodwork or cabinets or anything like that the yellow tape is going to be good because yeah. it won't peel anything yep so so yeah don't worry though we'll always we'll have another tutorial on this depending on how many you love this video like it and subscribe to our channel we definitely will have another video like if you're wondering what we use what tools we have for painting things like that we'd be happy to walk you through it yep. and teach you uh the kind of the basis of to make your 10k a month uh, painting painting houses so thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.